Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th, okay? Now, the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind, and not every reading is for you. Now, I have completed the April readings for each sign, if you want to catch them in the playlist. I did put that in my community tab. What do we have for right around the 30th? What do we have for around the 30th? Eight of coins reversed, so eight of pentacles reversed. Something not working out. Five of cups, woo! Five of cups, so that is sadness, it's grieving, it's crying over a loss. Something's not working out or something like that. Somebody's not putting in enough effort, they're not trying hard enough. Focusing on a loss you know, they're focusing on a, a painful loss, not realizing that there's still an opportunity for a partnership. There's still an opportunity here, or there's another opportunity. There's another opportunity. There is. Sometimes things don't work out for a reason. This is not putting in effort. Still focusing on something that is disappointing. Oh, wow, the tower. It feels as though there's going to be an eruption, okay? There is. There's going to be an eruption of some sort. All right, this is a explosion. Somebody's probably going to explode. Hermit. In the future, we have somebody probably needing to go within, probably going their own, down their own path. This is enlightenment, and this is light being shed on something. Things are about to blow up. This is enlightenment, a time to reflect and go within and think about everything that has happened. There's going to be a major disruption in the near future. There is. This is in the near future. And that is going to cause somebody the need to go within. To completely go within. Alone time is going to be needed because there's going to be a major change. Driven by the universe. This is forced change. So something is going to happen. It's going to be extreme. It is going to be extreme. Nine of Swords reverse, giving deep thought to the relationship. Somebody's going to be giving deep, deep, deep thought to a relationship. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of worry. There's regrets. Somebody has been trapped. They've been trapped. They've been feeling alone. Very, very, very alone. And it's like they've been trying to make something work that isn't, it's not working out. It's not working out. Somebody needs to escape. And they want to escape. And they've wanted to escape for a while. This is a desperate situation. It really is. Somebody's not working hard enough. Or they're not trying hard. Or they're not interested. They're being held back. Four of Swords. Four of Swords reversed. Extremely fed up. Extremely exhausted. We got somebody here that is tired. They are tired. They're tired of being alone. Somebody is tired of being alone. Even, even when... You're with somebody. 
Like I said the other day, you can be lonely if you're with the wrong one, right? So somebody's going to be reanalyzing or refocusing or uh, reevaluating because there's going to be some sort of explosion. There's going to be light that is shed on a situation, a false sense of security. This, is, this explosion was going to happen sooner or later. It was. We have somebody here that may be ill even with the Nine of Swords reversed and the Four of Swords reversed. There could be grieving over a loss. Something isn't working out. There's some sort of extreme de de depression here as well. We may have somebody here that is depressed, you know. I see frustrations. Very frustrated with these two cards. Somebody is frustrated. And they're thinking, they're thinking a lot. There's going to be some sort of event that brings enlightenment. Somebody is going to need to go within and take a time out. And listen to themselves. I feel we also have when I say enlightenment, it's like somebody is beginning to realize their own identity. And I think they've been in some sort of situation that is not bringing them happiness. It's not. So there could be a breakup. The Five of Cups could be a breakup or a separation. It is mirroring the tower. So we have somebody here that has been focusing on an emotionally dissatisfying situation when there's another opportunity that they have been missing or ignoring or something like that. Somebody has been missing an opportunity for a partnership that could be emotionally fulfilling. They've been missing the opportunity because they've been focusing on something that isn't. Because it's something to hold on to. It is. They may have been holding on to it for financial reasons as well. But this is giving deep, deep thought to a relationship that is depressing. Somebody's gut is telling them something as well. I feel like they've been thinking a lot. A lot, 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 lot. There's been a, a lot of reevaluating whatever this partnership is that they have been focusing on. A lot's been going on up there. The chariot. The chariot is something coming to a halt. It's also anger. Not able to master emotions. I do believe that somebody is about to explode. I do. This is lack of control, emotions all over the place, disaster ahead. And this is a disaster as well. There could definitely be an emotional outburst or an angry outburst. We have somebody that is totally fed up and exhausted and feeling alone. And things are not working out in their current relationship or whoever it is that they're focusing on. Whatever that is. There's, there's instability here. Something is unstable. I think it's a relationship. I really do. Somebody's thinking, you know, maybe, maybe they're in it because they don't, they're holding on to a false sense of security because they don't want to be alone.
light is definitely gonna be shed okay this is light being shed and this is light being shed somebody is about to become enlightened in some way the universe is here Okay, the universe is going to force something. This is a necessary evil. This is starting with a clean slate. And when I started this reading, before I started, I wanted to say we're going to start with a clean slate. That's why I only showed the table. I didn't show the ball or the angel. I showed just the table because I was thinking in my head, we're going to start with a clean slate. And I should have just said it. And the tower forces somebody to start with a clean slate we're gonna we're gonna rebuild or we're gonna build a new foundation someplace else because this one isn't stable this one isn't secure it's not in a good place it's not in a good place things are about to get heated they are and there's gonna be some sort of explosion and it could be you know somebody's temper okay somebody could really explode um, and it, you know this is the death of a situation it is with that four of swords reversed okay it is. I know people don't like to hear about it, but it really is. Something is coming to a stop. It's coming to a dead stop. There's going to be this is this is a foundation that is crumbling, right? Or it's a structure that isn't stable that is crashing to the ground. This is very sudden as well. It's a, it's a sudden, you never know when it's gonna happen. It, it's uh, expect the unexpected, okay? It's been coming though. It's like it's been smoldering, right? It's been smoldering for a while. Somebody, you know, may have been getting weaker and weaker. I don't know. This is like some sort of illness. But it could just be exhausted, extremely exhausted and fed up. Fed up with being trapped. We got somebody here that is in some sort of prison, whether it's a mental prison or they're under somebody else's control. I see freedom here. I do think that we have freedom here. I do. I do. I think that this is so this is going to break somebody free of a situation that they have been uh, stuck in, put it that way. This is not real. What's the opposite of false? It's not true. This is a false sense of security. So we have something that is not stable that is about to crumble. There's going to be a major disruption, a major uproar, major disturbance. There could even be an accident. And I hate to say that, but with the tower and the chariot reversed, there could be an accident. Hopefully, somebody doesn't end up in jail because, I mean, kind of looks like jail to me. And I do see anger here. I see anger in a few different cards. So I have somebody be, that's angry. They may be grieving over a loss, you know, and... Maybe it's a loss of a job or it's a loss of a relationship or loss of something and they do something, you know, they can't control their emotions. They could get in their car. I don't know. There's some sort of anger here. Somebody could leave. They could suddenly leave as well. Decide to go, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go focus on myself. Anyway, there is going to be a need to go within and think about whatever has happened so there's there's going to be an explosion that causes somebody to reflect okay a time of reflection is coming after an event and i know a lot of you're going to say oh this event already happened this is in my future okay it's in the future Because we, want, we don't want to believe that this is going to happen again, right? Or we don't want to believe that, you know, anything bad is going to happen. That's not reality.
somebody is going to become consciously aware of the truth. And I think that anger is going to come when they find out whatever this is. Knight of Swords. This is a dangerous situation. Knight of Swords reversed. The Knight of Swords is somebody that is negative, that is out of control, that is ignorant. This is somebody that is looking for a fight, that is insincere, that is dangerous, that probably has some mental health problems. This is a dangerous situation. Somebody is getting themselves into a dangerous situation. I, you know, I feel like we have somebody that doesn't have any morals. Knight of Swords reversed. This is somebody that is insincere. This person may break the law and doesn't care who they hurt. It feels like a hit and run. Or something like that. I don't know where that came from. I really don't. Knight of Swords reversed. Need to slow down. Somebody needs to slow down. They do. They need to slow down. It's moving way, way, way too fast. And this could be in any circumstances. Queen of Wands reversed. This is, uh, could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo. You know, there's, there is somebody here that uh, I don't know if we have somebody here that is that has a self image problem this person could be malicious there is some sort of illness here as well I don't know if we have somebody here because this can be somebody that is sick we have revenge we have unhealthy, we have melodramatic, we have overly proud and controlling. We have somebody, and I do see under somebody else's control. Somebody is controlling another person and they are about to get... A wake-up call. Goodbye is coming. And it's going to be sudden. I, there could be screaming. It feels like screaming to me. Hollering and yelling. I see screaming. You see the big mouth is wide open. We may have somebody here that is screaming. I do see that. There, I feel like there's going to be... A huge fight. Somebody's going to end up leaving. I do think that that it's meant to be because the, the tower is a necessary evil. It's time to stop focusing on something that is hurting you when there's another opportunity that is better suited. So be prepared for an explosion of some sort. Good luck. Now I'm going to show you my new deck. This is my deck that I have made. I created it. Let's shuffle.
give me a card for this Bailey. I created it. And it's taken some time. Gemini may have something to do with a Gemini. Let's get another one. Oh, we got time. Oh, time to set new goals. It makes sense. With the Hermit and that Five of Cups, you will be attending a get-together soon. So anyway, be prepared for somebody to say goodbye. They're headed in a new direction, you know. They are headed in a new direction. We do have an enemy disguised as a friend. These cards came out for a reason. Wedding bells, perhaps in six months. Somebody may be walking away from a marriage partner, or they may be headed towards somebody that they're going to marry. Phone call that changes everything. There is a phone call that is coming that changes everything. I'll show you the rest of the deck in my next segment. My April 1st through the 15th, I'm going to use this deck. Good luck.